In this lesson, we're going to take a look at adding front end modules. Modules allow you to put different items in different sections of your website. And the quick to card component comes with different modules. So you want to go over to extensions and you want to click on the modules or module manager. Then you want to go to uh, select type and you want to type in quick to cart. Once you type that in, you're going to get different drop down menus here and you can choose the one that you want to use. So let's start first with the cart. So when you click on the cart, you're going to get this title here where it says quick to cart. Click on this and we are going to publish this. We have to choose a position for this. So let's put this on the right side. And then you have to select, do you want this to show up on all pages or select the pages? So let's just leave this to show up on all pages for now. And then at the bottom here, you have the card display type. Do you want this to be compact or do you want it to be detailed? So we're going to leave this at compact. It's just going to show that the numbers with details, it gives you a lot more details. And we're going to take a look on the front end to see what it looks like. So you also have a high display of module HTML card is empty. So you want to leave this to know that means that the card is always going to show even if there are no products in there. So we're going to put this on the right side and see what that looks like on the front end. So let's save and let's refresh this products page. Okay. So right now this is going to show you the cart here. So every time that someone adds an order on the site, it's going to automatically show here. So I can click to empty cart. So right now it shows nothing. Your cart is empty. Okay, let's say I want to add this product, this product here. Continue shopping. And it's going to automatically add that there. So this is another great way for people to see all the items that is in their cart. And whenever they're ready to check out, they can just click on the checkout button. And it's going to redirect them to this page for them to process their orders. So that's once so let's save and close this. And let's check out the category list. So we're going to change this one in the position right as well and make sure that it's shown on all pages and let's click on save and close. So we're going to refresh this to see what it looks like. So these are all the different categories. So regardless of the page that you're on, you're going to have access to the categories and it shows a 250 uh, pixel scroll. And you can definitely change this. Let's go back here. Let's change that from 250 to something else. So this is the scroll height. So let's say we don't want to have this to have this little drag thing here and we want it to be a little bit longer. So we're going to change this to 500. And let's refresh this page. So when you change it to 500, now you have all the items are, are shown here. So you don't have a reason to scroll and it shows you the number of products in each category. So this is going to show up on all the pages. So the vendors on their back end, they are also going to be able to see this unless you, you hide it from this particular page. Okay. So you want to click save and close and let's take a look at the next one, the product display. And then you have several options here. The, the, the pin width. 170 the gap between is three so the number of products to be displayed and then the type of products that you want to display feature products recently added top sellers recently bought so you want to leave let's leave this at the features for now and let's make sure it's shown up on all pages and this one is published and then let's set this to the right and if you set in, in a position and you don't like how that looks, you can always change it from one position to the next. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like when it's set to the right position. So as you see here right now, we can't see anything because we haven't featured any products. So the reason why nothing is shown, there are no products that have been featured. When you change it to the recently added, you're going to see something on the front end. So on the dashboard here is showing you the recently added products. So this is going to show throughout the entire site. So even as your vendors, as they are looking at their, you know, their store back here, their dashboard, 
they're going to see, you know, the, the latest products, whatever it is that you want to show here. So we can change this to recently added. So instead of this just saying product display, we can just say new products or latest products. And you can change the pin size from 170. Let's change it to 250. So when you change this to 250, it's a little bit bigger. And then you can also change the gap space between the, the products. So you can change this from three. We can put that to one. Let's refresh this and see what it looks like. So the gap space, gap space is a little bit narrow. And you can change this from two products. You can change that to one. Okay, so there it is now. And this is really a, a great way if you want to, you know, showcase some of your newer products so that as your vendors are, you know, working on the dashboard and, you know, working on this, this store, they can see new products. And you can also even charge a fee to have people's products uh, featured on this section here. And you have 100% control. So you can say for, you know, extra $20 or $50, you know, your products are going to be featured in this section. And as the admin, you have control over that. And the way that you have control is you can create this module. And then you can, you know, put those products there. You can also have the top selling. You can have the recently bought. So there is a variety of ways for you to utilize this module. All right, let's click on save and close and take a look at the next module. So here you have the store display. And you can choose the same thing as with the previous one. You can choose the best seller store, the store list. This is going to list the stores. Or you can choose the latest store. And for the display type, you can have a block view or you can have a list view. So let's leave, leave that at the block, the block view so and see what that looks like on the front end. And we're going to change this to the position right. If you don't want this to show up on all pages, just on the admin section, I'm sorry, just on the vendors part, then you, you can come here and click on only on the pages selected. And then you check where it says select all, just click on none. And then you can scroll down and click on where you want this to be. So for example, you just click on the vendor and this information is going to show up only on the vendor section. But for now, I'm just going to leave this at show up on all pages. And then let's change this to latest store or new store. And you can change the limit here. So with the latest store is going to show them, you know, just like this. And it's very clean, you know, very, very clean and simple. And then let's check out the list view format. So with the list view, it gives it to you like this in the list format. You can either have to show it this way or you can show it the other way. Or you can create two of these modules and show one in the list format and another one in the uh, the block view format. So let's say you want to show the latest store in the block view. And you can put this at one or you can leave it at two. So we're going to click on save and new, and then you want to showcase uh, the best seller and we want to put this one in a block view. So let's click on save. Well, first, let's put this in the right position and then let's click on save. OK, so here you have it now. You have this is the latest stores and this is the best selling stores. So you, you, you know, you have a lot of control once again to organize it how you want it to be. And if you don't want both of this, then you can change that. If you want to change it back to the list view, then you can change it to the list view and change the scrolling height for that as well. So once you refresh it, you have the latest stores in the list view now. So there you have it. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson.